Okay, so just a quick one. Um, I'm on my way into town again because I have no choice. Um, it's smoky. I'm wearing my mask. Uh, just a quick one because um, I'm parked in the only little bit of shade here. Uh, <laughs> off the bike path. Um, I can't go off too far because it's like four wheel driving in that. But anyway, and it's right next to an ant's nest. The ants are going berserk. Uh, they have been for the last three days because uh, I don't know, I can't explain it, um, but there is moisture in the air at the moment. Um, manufactured moisture in the air. Uh, watch um, Never Lose Truth, uh, CAFTA, um, for more information. Uh, her latest video, I think it is, um, she explains it uh, very well. Um, yeah, the ants think it's going to rain. They have thought it was going to rain for the last three days. Um, so they're going berserk. I can show you. I'm not going any closer because I don't want to stir them up. I don't know if the ants are look or they know something's about to happen because they're gathering food. Look at that. Um, anyway, I had to stop and show you this tree. I've been seeing it like, this is another reason, apart from the smoke and the heat, I can't stand going out um, anymore because all I, see, I, all I see is death. I feel death everywhere. Um, it's insane. Uh, anyway, um, this tree. I've been seeing the gum trees. Uh, see how these ones are standing straight and tall still? Um, before I crossed under that road, along the bike path over there, all the gum trees, um, oh, sorry, ants. Um, wow. Okay, I've just got to keep moving around. Um, all the gum trees were on a lean, more so than that, that one there in the center screen. Like that one's just starting to. They were on a lean and it was a un, it's an unnatural looking lean. Like see the bottom of the tree? I'll get a picture on the way back. Um, anyway. Of the other ones down the bottom of the trees it was bowed like like it couldn't hold itself up anymore um, and all the trees were doing it and sitting at unnatural angles and um, yeah I didn't want to stop but uh, I'll try and get some pictures on the way back and yeah so that caused me to notice that one See that is dead. It's dead. And um, there's another one over there, but I'm not. It's still got leaves on it. But um, yeah, and and I think that's what I'm I'm feeling every time I go out. Um, just the horror. Um, the pain that these trees are in um, when you're surrounded by it and uh, yeah so whew. anyway I've got to keep going I've got things to do um, okay uh, prayers for everyone who's suffering everyone who's feeling this pain everyone who's uh, stranded or struggling in the fires and and prayers for the rest of the world um, sending love and light always see us um, these ducks I filmed the other day uh, so I will get the comparison um, I was observing uh, their change change in behavior due to the drought the manufactured geoengineered 
deliberate drought um, and killing of all life on this planet. Okay, so I was coming back the other day and I parked right there to film the ducks. The ducks were in the shade on the grass under that tree. And this was not there. It wasn't there. Um, Okay, I just missed it. Um, that's the only green grass uh, for um, for miles. <laughs> um, the next patch of green grass is down by the lake. It's only where the, where they're putting the sprinklers on. Everything else is dead. Um, yeah, I just missed it. Uh, they just um, all grouped together. When they were over there they just all grouped together and just ran to that spot and stopped um, which is very strange uh, I think they were starting to fry like they were getting as much eating as much as they could out of the green grass until it got too hot and then they ran to the shade I'm trying to figure out where it came from Things are just like, everything is so dead. Um, I know I keep repeating myself, but it's, it, each day it's speeding up. Everything is so brittle and dry and um, everywhere I go it looks like fires have been through, but it's just the, the trees turning black because they have no water and the sun is burning them. Um, and here's a perfect example. This was so weak from lack of water and probably decent soil because it's all full of chemicals that it just fell over. This was not here the other day. Taking a few... Um, weak branches of a fir tree with it. Wow. Um, further along, I'll get some pictures.
further along um, this path, uh, I noticed they're cutting all the branches like along the lower the lower parts of the trees, um, and and they're doing it really quickly. And I thought it was just to hide the fact that everything's dying, um, which is probably true. But also, a lot of trees and branches hang over the bike paths. The bike paths are one of the main forms of travel in Canberra if you don't have a car. Um, if you are into jogging and bike riding and or own a golf buggy. Um, and entire trees very soon are going to start falling onto the bike paths just randomly. Branches already are. Um, wow. It's getting harder and harder. I mean, like, oh. it's just getting harder and harder to see all of this. I am really grateful that um, I'm not in a fire zone um, and I'm always uh, sending prayers to those who are suffering and those who are going through a lot worse than what I am right now. Um, but this is really hard to witness um, what happens uh, when all the trees die. Um, the animals are starting to go first. Now the trees, when the trees die, our shade disappears. So we have no protection from the harsh sun um, apart from man-made concrete structures that tree is on an unnatural lean it's dead it will fall over um, there's another one that's about to go I'm going to stop filming after this Yeah, so when the trees die, well, you can say that's pretty much it for life on this planet. That's about to go. That's, that's unnatural. All the trees are starting to do this. Um, I've noticed really badly with the gum trees, uh, they, they can't support themselves. They just don't look right. There. There, it just fell from there. See what happens when you look up? You notice things. <laughs> wow. It fell, it just fell off, see? go. I finally got the evidence. <sighs> okay. Prayers always um, to everybody. Everybody. Um, the animals, the trees, everything that's trying to survive. Okay, so this is where I really started to notice it. I've kind of done a loop 
I'm almost back where I started. Um, I came from the other side. I just came from the bike path going along the other side of the creek. Came over the bridge and I go back down under the bridge to get home. So I have a choice of two different ways to go. Um, and I came through here earlier today. And these trees can't hold themselves up. Um, they can't hold themselves up. The lean on them doesn't look right. I don't want to go too far away from the buggy. They're leaning, they're leaning with the weight. They're leaning with the weight that they can no longer support. So they're all leaning in different directions. It's unnatural. And I'm right under one, so I'm just gonna move. It just doesn't look right. Doesn't look right. That looks weak. That looks weak. It looks bent there because it looks weak. And it's struggling. Same with that one. It looks bent there at the base because it's struggling to hold itself up. It's struggling to hold their own weight. Same with that one. It's struggling to hold its own weight. That one bent there struggling to hold its own weight it's just it's not it's not natural um, it just doesn't look right I'm an Aussie I've been here all my life um, if anyone can tell me any different please do but it just it doesn't look right and all these trees are dying um, all these trees are dying Okay, okay, I've had enough, I'm going home. <sighs> All right, see you.